Hello viewers, welcome to the last section of this course, jQuery Bootstrap Component with React. In this section, we'll take a look at how jQuery Bootstrap Components work in React Virtual DOM. We are also going to cover a few topics, Bootstrap Alert Component in React, Component Lifecycle Methods, Component Integration, Bootstrap Modal. This will give you a better understanding of dealing with jQuery Bootstrap Components with React. Now let's move to the first video of the last section. In this video, we will learn about alerts, usage. In Bootstrap, we have lots of reusable components that make a developer's life easy. In section one, getting started with React and Bootstrap, and section two, let's build a responsive theme with React Bootstrap and React, we explain the integration of Bootstrap. So let us start with a small component to integrate in React. Alerts. In Bootstrap, we have the alert component to show the messages in the UI as per the user action that makes your component more interactive. First of all, we need to enfold a text in the alert class that contains the close button. Bootstrap also provides the contextual classes that represent the different colors according to the messages, which is the same like this. Alert success, alert info, alert warning, alert error. Usage. Bootstrap gives us the predefined structure of the alert component that makes it easy to include it in our project, which is similar to the selected class and button type components. When we are using the close button as a child of the wrapper tag, where we have declared the alert class, we need to add the dot alert dismissible class to that element as shown in this example code. Adding the custom attribute data dismiss alert will give us those close functionality in alert. Now we will integrate the bootstrap alert component with the react control component text area that we developed earlier in section four, DOM interaction with react.js, where we developed a form with a control component. We went through an example of preventing the user writing text into the text area above 140 characters. In this example, we will see how we can bind alert or warning messages with the same component. Here, we are just extending the developed controlled component. You might have also seen the character limit in section four, DOM interaction with React.js, which shows the control component with comments in the text area. In brackets, you can see the defined character limit. Now we will open the controlled component in our browser. You can see the comments box with the character limit set. If you write in the comments box, you can see that the characters limit has also changed. After adding the alert component, it will show in the UI when a user reaches the maximum character limit. For this, first of all, we'll need to enfold the bootstrap component into the React structure. Let's go through the practical example. We have created a component with the name of bootstrap alert and wrapped the HTML inside the render method. OnClick is calling the handle close function, which will handle the close event. It is the default function of React, as we have the dot show and dot hide default functions in JavaScript. Nice, we have successfully learned about bootstrap alert components in React.